Um, another great way to camouflage is to wear your shirts untucked. Are they serious? So today I thought I would do something a little bit different. Today I am reacting to a professional stylist advice for how to dress a short torso. If you're like me, you've probably Googled like how to dress a short torso body type. And I personally think a lot of the styling advice is just kind of meh. But anyway, I will go into it. If we haven't met before, I'm Jules and I have a short torso body type and I like to do videos on fashion style and shopping. And I am a little bit unconventional on how I like to style my short torso body in that I do a lot of things they say not to do and I make it work. So of course, this is all just for fun. I'm gonna move myself over here so that I can put some stuff on the screen. So this article is from a brand that's a subscription service. I'm not gonna name names because it's not about the brand or the person who wrote this. Again, it's purely about about reacting to the advice that they're giving. First, it talks about dresses. I'll just put the phone right up to my face. For a tie waist dress, it says, define your waist with a cinch. Yes, I completely agree. Tie waist dresses are really helpful because they do highlight the smallest part of you. No matter where that is, you're gonna be really happy when you do that. The one thing I will say about some tie waist is be careful about tie waists that are too thick because if it takes up too much of your waist, it could actually just make you look like cinched on top of cinch and it doesn't give you that nice kind of fluid waistline that you're always looking for because oftentimes with our short torsos we can get kind of wider waist not that not that they're big but just like more rectangular because we don't have as much room between the bottom of our rib cage and our hip bones it also says a little black dress like yes, a little black dress works for everyone, but there are so many different kinds of little black dresses that I don't feel like that's particularly helpful. The reasoning is it instantly lengthens every frame. And I get that, the more monochromatic one color you can make your whole body, the more just longer it looks and the less attention is drawn to upper part versus lower part. So I get that, but just saying, a black dress and not saying what kind of black dress or what features to look on or look for for that dress is not as helpful as it could be. And then it also says short dresses. Show a little leg with a dress that hits above the knee or even further. I mean, if you're having a dress that hits above the knee and you have long legs, that's not gonna be showing a little leg. That's gonna be showing a lot of leg. And that's definitely something that we're always looking to balance, right? Is, is our legs versus the rest of us, if you want to. And personally, my feeling on this is like, sure, shorter dresses can work, but also longer dresses can work. Dresses that hit below the natural waistline, such as with a drop waist, will create length throughout your midsection. Ah, uh, yes, this is, this is a piece of styling advice I see a lot for short torsos and that is drop waist dresses. <coughs> I'm really tired of seeing drop waist dresses honestly because like yes they can look nice but here's the thing when a fashion designer makes a drop waist dressed dress it's a drop waist on a proportionate mannequin if you have a short torso chances are your bottom is higher than <laughs> on a mannequin then you start getting into that drop waist hitting your bottom more and that might not be where you want that drop waist to hit yes it can work you have to do a lot of hit and miss with fine the right one that does work. It also says a faux wrap dress in an A-line shape is a great fitted option. Yes, I love, love, love a wrap dress or a faux wrap dress. Love them, highly recommend those. Definitely agree with that. So moving on to tops. So the first one is drapey tops. Flowy tops with movement are perfect for an elongating front tuck. Yes, I do have to agree with that. I definitely do this a lot. I love oversized sweaters. I love some kind of flowiness, looser tees, things that aren't as tight so it's not as obvious where my torso is. It's also um, more comfortable to have a little bit looser clothing, I'm just saying. And I love that they talked about a front tuck. You see so many things that say, oh, short torsos shouldn't tuck in their tops. I think tucking in can do a lot of good to an outfit and adding structure or interest and style. And to just tell someone to not tuck in their shirt is a little bit like, oh, well, I can't look stylish just because I have a body type. Like that doesn't make sense to me. Next we have V-necks. So expose your neckline and lengthen your torso simultaneously. Okay. I have mixed feelings about V-necks. You have to think about what you're pairing it with. For example, if you're gonna pair a V-neck with a higher rise jean, I personally think that actually gives you less space here. It sort of makes you look like you're all neck 
and all leg. But at the same time, I think V-necks can be really great. I really don't think there are a lot of necklines that short torsos can't wear. It's just, you have to be cognizant what you pair with it. Um, it also says bold prints. Camouflage a shorter torso with big bold prints. Here's the thing I, I have the biggest deal with, camouflage. And I'm sure I've used that word in the past, but I don't ever mean it to be like, you should hide your body. I'm talking about you should trick the eye. I'm not ashamed of my short torso. I'm a little bit eh, about camouflage here, but we're not gonna focus too much on the words. It says camouflage with big, bolder prints. I mean, that one's a bit tough for me because I don't like big, bold prints. Um, another great way to camouflage is to wear your shirts untucked. Are they serious? Let's keep reading. Allowing the top to drape past the waistband. I understand where this works in some occasions, but again, I personally think the benefits of tucking outweigh the potential drawbacks of tucking with a short torso. I, I think it does much more good than harm, and there are definitely ways to make it work. Make sure to select pieces that are medium to long in length to keep your torso looking long. I get that to a point. I think you just have to find where on your torso you're really comfortable with things. I definitely have a sweet spot that I gravitate towards. There are some crop tops that come there and I'm like, this is perfect. But when it comes to like a super crop top, they don't look the best on me. I also am slightly larger chested, so crop tops tend to look even more cropped on me. So again, I that's just more of a personal preference. As we're moving on to bottoms. So the first option it gives is low to mid rise pants. Um, create proportion with a lower rise. I've talked a lot about pants and jeans already. Um, if you want to know how you can wear high rise jeans or pants with a short torso, I will have that video linked down below. It is full of all of my tips and tricks. Personally, I think you just go based off of measurements. I, I don't even pay attention to things that are low rise, mid rise, or high rise. I am only looking for what that actual rise measures out to be and what that means for me. The second one it gives is flowy trousers. Wide leg trousers emphasize your elongated legs. This one I actually heavily disagree with and that could just be a personal preference, but when it comes to an area of your body that is visually taking up more priority than the other, I tend to not want to draw attention to it. Personally, I find when I would wear, cause I don't really wear them anymore, um, wide leg jeans or wide leg trousers, I would feel like I was all legs and whatever I was wearing on top like would barely kind of fit in. And so in my opinion, I would rather style things to pull the eye away from the legs because the legs will look more proportioned as other parts of you look proportioned rather than the other way around. And this one says trend denim. Give denim trends a try to show off your long legs. Again, they're emphasizing the long legs. The example that they give has an embroidered bottom and I actually think that looks nice because it breaks up your leg rather than it just being one long straight color. So the reason for the example that they're giving, I don't agree with, but the fact that it breaks up the leg, I do agree with. It talks about choosing light wash and colored denim to draw the eye downward, which I definitely think it does, but again, make sure it's balanced. If your eyes are already going to your legs, likely don't need more reason for them to go to your legs but if you want to, you should. Like I definitely wear, wearing them right now, light wash jeans. All right, this next section is just more looks like a general section that they didn't know where to put certain things. It says color and patterns can be used to trick the eye and draw attention away from your shorter torso. Sure, you can do that with anything, but yes. When it comes to accessories, longer necklaces, earrings, and scarves will lengthen your torso and create balance. I mean, sure, longer works, shorter works, wear what you want. I think just wearing jewelry, earrings, scarves, and such in general are a much better way to create interest and add emphasis to other places rather than worrying too much about how long or short they are. Select skinny over wide belts as wide belts will visually interrupt the long line that you're creating with your longer tops. I definitely think when it comes to waist belts, you want to go skinny again, because you don't have that much room here that a wider belt can often like get your hips and your ribs in there. And then it kind of looks wonky. It doesn't look as smooth. What matters most with belts is whether or not that belt is going to make it look like it's part of your torso or part of your bottom half. Because if you can get a belt to make it look like it's part of your top half, then you're actually going to be elongating your torso rather than elongating your legs. You know, I hope this was kind of fun, entertaining, helpful, 
helpful in some way. Again, this is just my opinion, but thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up before you go and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Like if you have a short torso and you watch this whole video and you liked it, then you're gonna wanna be part of this family. So please join us. Thank you so much again, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.